We're here with assistant coach Cody Chupp, the Green Bay Gamblers, currently three points out of first place in the Eastern Conference, grabbing three out of four points this past weekend. Let's start with Friday night here at home at the Rest Center. It was an exciting game for the fans. The Green Bay Gamblers beat the Youngstown Phantoms in a shootout 5-4. to four. Your assessment of the game? Uh, it was a good game. You know, it was, it was up and down. Um, you know, I think Youngstown is a better team than maybe what they are currently at in the standings. Um, they have big, physical, strong forwards, and they take advantage of that. And we knew going into the game that uh, it was going to be it was going to be uh, important for our D and our low forwards to to play well as a unit to communicate ourselves out of our D zone and uh, to take advantage of their defense. And that's where we thought. Uh, we were able to, um, you know, kind of take advantage of our strengths against their uh, undersized defensemen, and um, you know they got their chances and we got our chances. I thought we did a great job of battling back when we got down a goal and, and getting it to overtime and eventually a shootout. So the two points was huge. Uh, points are really big at this time of year, and we we're excited to get two. Stressful for the coaches, the new overtime rules. Great for the fans, though, the three-on-three. Three. Yeah. What What are your thoughts on it? It's exciting. I mean, uh, as a fan, it's uh, it's fun to watch. I love watching NHL games that, that have the three-on-three three overtime now, and uh, it, it's up and down the ice quickly. Um, it's odd man rush after odd man rush, and we saw that uh, Friday night where things start going up and down the sheet, and uh, next thing you know, it's it's two-on-one after two-on-one. So. Um, as a coach, now the, the other side of that is <laughs> it, it, it's exciting. It adds a few gray hairs, but uh, we understand that it's, it's give and take. You know, we're going to give up some rushes and we're going to uh, have some rushes uh, of odd numbers. And our goalie was huge. Uh, you know, it's, you have to have uh, a great goalie at the, during that point in the game. And uh, I thought Kevin played, played a great game, especially in overtime and in the shootout. Brett Gruber with the game-winning goal in the shootout. How do you guys pick your lineup uh, to come out for the three skaters that are going to shoot? Uh, you know, part of it's what we see in practice. You know, we have different uh, opportunities for guys to, to do shootouts and, and breakaways in practice. Um, you know, and some of it's guys that are gone that night. Uh, so we, you know, we, we basically, as soon as overtime's over, pick the three players. And um, you know, I, I thought uh, Gruber's a guy that's... Uh, had a little bit of a hot stick. He does well in practice, um, you know. And then I think uh, Chris Grando is another guy that, that's been playing really well lately. Had his opportunities. Got a really good stick. So, um, you know, I think those first two shooters for us were, um, you know, based on what we've seen in practice and, and how guys are going in the game. So, you guys head into Dubuque. Dubuque's been red hot, winning 10 straight. I thought it was a heck of a game to watch at home. You guys end up falling in overtime. Picking up a point in Dubuque is important, though. But you guys fall 2-1 to one in overtime. But overall, a very good game. Yeah, it was a, it was a playoff-style game. And Dubuque, like you said, has been extremely hot uh, as of late, uh, especially last month. You know, I think um, they got that infusion of a player back at Christmas, which is always huge for teams in our league. Uh, to get that top end forward at Christmas uh, just added more depth to their already really good forward group. Um, we knew going in that it was going to be a tough environment, that the place was going to be loud and the fans were going to be all over us, which you know, I think uh, helps us to get a point out of there. It, it's a little taste of playoff hockey in January. Um, you know, it got emotional near the end of the game, um, and that's all part of it that you know I think is going to benefit us going forward. To be able to handle that emotion and still continue to play our game um, is going to be important when playoff time comes around. So, uh, like I said, it's it's going to be a learning experience for us going into Dubuque. We're we're happy we got one point again, battling back uh, from being down a goal uh, late in the game. We were able to score that goal to push us into overtime. It's big. It's big for our group to uh, to not let that game slip away and to still get a point out of there. Going forward, we'd like to be better handling that emotion and uh, putting the game away when we have the opportunity. All right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate yeah. your time. You bet.